all right my reviver so here you have the table being sanded and getting all the you know marks and stuff because we did have this in the dining room just so i can see if it fits on the rug and yeah my children set some things on the actual table and it sweated into the wood which is not a good thing because it's just raw open wood with no protection so what we're doing is getting these items out of um like little dark marks from the water and um basically trying to smooth it out so i can take it in the house and i can sand it down not sand it poly it guys what the heck i'm so tired i'm doing a lot of editing right now but so i can poly it down which is what you're going to see in this video so stay tuned and keep watching ready to um put my protection and stuff down and i'm getting ready to poly the table as you've seen it was sanded um this is a table that i got second hand from facebook marketplace for 25 dollars so <clears throat> watch me all right, so when doing any type of project inside your home to protect your carpet or your floors, you wanna make sure you get some type of drop cloth or some type of tarp to lay down to ensure that the paint or the poly or whatever it is you're doing is going to have a surface to fall on that will protect the floors from being damaged or stained. All right, so this table is like heavy, okay? So my baby girl is helping me to get it all set up and ready to poly table before any poly and how dry and everything it looks I love this table I'm so in love with the imperfections and all this stuff it's gonna be so pretty once I put the um protective coat on it literally love this stuff this is a water-based polyurethane that I get from Home Depot guys it has no smell it smells like nothing okay so if you are looking for something that is not strong and if you have children or you know people who are allergic to scents and different you know things like that that can give them headaches and stuff like that guys I recommend this clear base um poly it goes on clear it stays clear and it just gives you a shine and the more you pile it on the thicker the coating and the more shinier the product I had to do this table about I'll say I put about four coats on this so I let it dry like a half an hour sometimes an hour just depending on how I felt and I came back to it so this was a all night project okay guys all right so I'm gonna let you guys watch me work and I'll explain everything that I did later in the video so here guys i figured okay this little brush is not working well and i was being lazy i literally did not want to go to get a smoother brush and i'm using a regular paint roller which is yeah i'll talk about that later in the video mm -mm -mm. So hubby end up leaving anyways to go get the freaking rollers that I should have gotten from the beginning and I thought that we had some and we would be okay but since he had went all the way out and came back in I didn't want to send them out again but the table was not turning out right with that big roller it had like a unsmooth uh, consistency to the uh, actual roller and it was creating little mini divots in the um, surface of the poly and that wasn't a good look so I had to sand it down and still start with the roller. I'm doing some sanding and then I'm going to utilize these smooth surface rollers with a small roller. Now what I did was I applied it with the brush and I poured it and I also applied it with a big roller. That roller had like, it wasn't for a smooth surface so it didn't kind of give me what I wanted. So basically I'm sanding it down a little bit just to smooth it out and then I'm gonna go back over it with. All right, pause. So yeah guys, 
you want to make sure you have smooth surface rollers and rollers that are for poly i am doing excess work and as you can see it is now dark outside i don't know if you can kind of tell but you can tell the difference and it is dark outside and it has been several hours because between each coat i like to let it sit anywhere between a half an hour to an hour so yeah and i started this about five so you can imagine i'm tired but i gotta get it done with this two times so i'm gonna do it once and i'm gonna come back and do it again and this should be it so yeah i'm just sanding it out a little bit now let me tell you guys i was really frustrated i really was because i knew better but that's what i get for i'm not gonna say cutting corners because i really thought i had something just to drive way back out there or have my husband drive way back out there because i didn't drive anywhere um was kind of frustrating because i know he gets tired of me saying babe 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 do this do that you know especially if it's last minute and we're all kind of tired so yeah guys i'm doing it the right way with this it's still um it came out good and the sanding did help but yeah i would definitely not play myself and do it the right way the first time because this was hours of unnecessary sanding and work that didn't need to happen if i just used the roller from the beginning all right guys so yeah i'm gonna put about another three more coats on this and what i was doing guys was putting a coat on letting it sit for about five ten minutes then cutting the fan on really low to help it dry faster because it was getting late and then going and watching netflix and i did that for about three more coats and yeah i'm liking the way it looks we shall see we shall see stay tuned in this video so you can see how it came out all right guys so this is the next day and the table now has shine to it and yeah i didn't want it real shiny but i wanted it shiny enough to be able to wipe off and guys the actual small roller is the thing you need i was being lazy and me or my husband did not want to go to the store to get any roller so we tried that big roller and that big roller put like little divots in it but it's not so bad we can live with it it's just not as smooth as we want it i may do it over later then again i may not but now it has a shine to it and that's all that matters that's what i was looking for so i hope you guys enjoy this and see me basically put this dining room together with this second hand table that i so love all right guys